the legacy of uh, best for soil um it's an uh, task for all horizon projects that they have to take care that the results of the project stay available after the project ends and um, um that is rather easy an easy task for results that don't change anymore in our case the videos the fact sheets there are several facilities available uh, available to store these uh, results and i will show that uh, later on but it is not so easy for uh, the results as i call them living documents or the, the living tools the databases and the background uh, information that is uh, you need to maintain this kind of information and these tools to be able to incorporate new res uh, results from uh, from research and there is no structure available nowadays uh, to uh, to store these tools and to make sure that this maintenance can be can be done and it will be funded so um yeah we have to find other solutions as we have the ambition to also maintain the databases and keep them available for practice but the first question then we should ask is what is the legacy of best for soil um i think we saw many nice examples eh, over the of today in, in uh, several presentations and thinking of the knowledge of best for soil the legacy of best for soil you could say that is three parts we have the knowledge we have compiled, the results of the data mining, all the videos and the fact sheets. In the second place, the website and the decision support tools. And the last part, I think the most important perhaps, uh, is the network, the people in the network. That's also the legacy. And I will um, discuss these uh, three points one by one. First, coming to the knowledge. Um, as I said before, there are several options to store the knowledge, and one of them we use is the Zenodo database. It's an open access database, and already the results of the data mining is available here. So uh, when you Google at Best for Soil, you will see the results, and we will also take care that the rest of the results, uh, like the videos, fact sheets, etc., will also be uploaded on this website. So it will be available here. Another place where we will store, already stored our information is on uh, organic farm knowledge. That's also a knowledge database um, dedicated to organic farming. But as um, the best practices in best for soil are also applicable in organic agriculture, this is also a good place for us to store our results. Of course, YouTube is also an interesting channel for us to store results. As I showed uh, earlier this morning, um, many people found a way to our YouTube channel to visit, to watch our videos. And also that will, uh, will be available after the project ends. Then, of course, we have the website of the EIP, the European Innovation uh, Partnerships. Um, when you Google at Best for Soil, you see already many results, all the practice abstracts, the 50 practice abstracts we will produce will be available here on this site, but also other information about the project and other results you can find on this website. And of course, not only of Best for Soil, but um, uh, for all kinds of thematic networks, all kinds of information can be found here and also the information about the focus groups. So also the focus group that led initially to Best for Soil, the results of that focus group, you can also find on this website. Then coming to the website and the decision support tools, as I just said, it's, it's, not, a, um, it, it's not a final result. Eh? The database is, uh, is a living instrument, needs maintenance and needs also uh, that new information can be added eh? when we get new results from research we should be able to update it in the databases and if you have seen the presentation this morning we still have a lot of white cells in the database so we don't know everything and um, so it would be good if we could uh, maintain 
um, the databases. The good news is that Wageningen Research guarantees that the databases will be available for the coming five years. And I think that's that's very nice because what we have seen in the presentation of uh, Bruno is that practitioners really um, use these tools and that it also leads to changes in practice. Yeah, the change of, uh, of uh, the crop rotations is one of the results that we got from this uh, from this survey. So um, a good reason to keep this in the air, although where it's only has been available for one year now in the best for soil uh, databases. And uh, I think to come to the, the full uh, potential of these databases, they should be available for the longer term. And what we also see that many uh, farmers using the databases, they really need help to interpret the results coming out of the databases and uh, the, the support tools, the schemes that are produced. So here comes in the role of the advisors in our network. Um, so I hope that um, the advisors uh, present in this, um, in this meeting will also spread the information among their colleagues so they can really take up this role in helping advisors to use this information. So this is uh, for us uh, that, um, that we have the ambition to further develop the tools by adding more information and extend the network that we created. But again, this is just the beginning and we hope that we can extend it a lot more across Europe. But as I said earlier, the maintenance of the databases costs money. And the cost we uh, estimated about 25,000 euros per year. Keeping the system in the air, uh, fixing bugs, uh, keep the safety on a high level. And that made us decide to search for stakeholders that might be willing to contribute because they have an interest in these uh, databases. And there you can think of uh, all kinds of uh, organizations, uh, suppliers of, uh, of uh, green manure, seeds, uh, compost, um, all kinds of other companies, but also um, policy organizations um, could help to provide the money that we can use for keeping the system in the air. We have uh, three options. We have the, the platinum, the gold and the silver sponsorship. The silver sponsorship will uh, get your logo on the, the page on the, on the website. The gold sponsorship will also, of course, include the logo and including the address of your own Internet page. And the platinum uh, sponsorship will also include an active, an active hyperlink direct to the own Internet web page. So when you have already an interest in becoming a sponsor of uh, Best for Soil, then you can uh, send us an email to info at bestforsoil.eu or to me or to uh, Elaine at uh, Molendijk. And depending on our success in finding funding for maintaining the databases, we think that of uh, creating two expert panels one for nematodes and one for uh, for pathogens, independent experts that will update the databases uh, twice a year based on new results from research. So that would be um, very nice if you could uh, uh, um, uh, get this done, but we have to wait and see. We will send around uh, the sponsor newsletters in the coming weeks. We will spread them all over Europe. And we really hope that this makes it possible to us to maintain and expand the databases. The first successes we already uh, found is the Dutch edible farmers, the branch organization of the Dutch edible farmers. They um, fund the extension of the number of edible crops into the nematode scheme. The Dutch flower bulb growers funded the addition of the five most important bulb crops in the nematode and the pathogen scheme that is work in progress. And we hope that this information will be added uh, by the end of the year. 
And also what was uh, very nice to experience is that the nematological department of uh, Nibio in Norway, they were keen on having the Norwegian translation of the database. So they, um, they make this uh, possible. And they also are willing to add more information on nematodes and cereals that are important for the northern part of Europe. So we hope that we can organize many more of uh, these examples so we really can um, keep the system and improve the system in the coming period. And why is it also important uh, for us? Um, that's what we experienced throughout the project. Um, we had some uh, also international workshops. A nice example was, for example, in, um, a workshop on the use of Tagetes, a biological um, method to control Pratelin spinatrans. In the, this case, it was in, in strawberries. And we had participants from, from Germany, from Austria, from Sweden. And uh, one of the conclusions was that it's really nice that you also can learn from other regions, from other countries to find solutions for the problems you experience on your own farm. And another remark was that, oh, what we produced, huh, it's, it's very nice tools, very interesting tools that can help farmers to really face the challenge that they, that they have um, uh, achieving the goals huh, for example, for the European mission on soil. And it would be really a pity when these kind of instruments, these kind of tools um, would not be available on the longer term to help them to achieve these goals. Then the last part of my legacy talk is about the network, the people. Uh, a network is about people. We have farmers and advisors, they uh, use, uh, the tools, they value the information, they apply what they have learned from Best for Soil. I think a nice illustration was the talk of uh, Ignacio just before my, my talk uh, about um, uh, biosolarization and ASD implementation in, the, in, in Spain. Um, there is a need of support for interpretation and application of the information coming out of the tools. That's the role of advisors, also people in the network. And as I said before, it's nice that you can learn also from each other across borders. Uh, also, again, in the example of uh, Jose Ignacio, that Leonard Molendek, a specialist on ASD, was asked to share his expertise with the Spanish growers. I think this is a nice example also for a European cooperation. We have the communities of practice, um, more than 50, 100 people involved. We have many educational institutes and other stakeholders using our results. And I think looking at these examples, um, then I can say uh, that our network, the Best for Soil network contributes to the EU soil mission and the farm to fork strategy. And in the talk of Alfred, we heard that the goal of the European Union is to create 100 living labs and lighthouses across Europe. And I think also this is what we could contribute to. But then the question how to continue the best for soil network. Um, there will be new calls uh, coming up and we will for sure look at it but that it's, of course, not a guarantee that uh, another new proposal will, uh, will be funded. But we will do our best. But in the meantime, because a follow-up will not be funded before 23 uh, at the earliest, in the meantime, we will try to find the funding through sponsors, as I just uh, showed you. And the follow-up of Best for Soil, uh, we will try to do that in co-creation with all the people in our network, yeah, we have more than five, 400 subscribers uh, on the website. And uh, also today we'll, I think, add numbers to this. And what we suggest to do for the follow-up of our project, um, co-creation of and sharing of knowledge also in the future is that uh, all the practitioners and other interested persons will be involved in the planning of the next proposal. And we will send around the survey to all the subscribers of the newsletter and give them the opportunity to contribute to a next proposal. 
So when you're not registered on the website of Best for Soil, please um, use the opportunity and then we will also include you in this uh, uh, making this new proposal. Thanks for your attention and um, um, I already prepared a little bit the take home messages. Um, Okay, you, you, then thank you for your talk, huh? Yeah. Then, yeah, let's start, why not, with the yeah. take-home messages first. Yeah. So, um, think about ways okay, to support the future of the databases. So, a, a call to all of you, when you see any, any options, please let us know. Uh, we have the sponsor initiative, but there might be many more ideas or suggestions how we can best do this. Um, especially the advisors and inform your colleagues about the tools and, and make them known to everybody because it's always a different uh, task eh, to make your uh, results uh, known by all the advisors in Europe. So please take the responsibility and inform your colleagues and also inform the rest of your network, also the policy people. Um, um, that we can keep these tools available for farmers and the tools that can help the farmers to meet the challenges for coming years. So please help us with this uh, important task. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we've got like um, two questions in the chat. Um, dear audience, you can still post some questions if you have something on your mind. Uh, first off with Lina. I want to start. Um, would it be possible to integrate the uh, best of soil leg legacy to the EU uh, farm book? And to what extent would this be possible? Yeah, uh, I don't know if everybody knows what the EU farm book is, but it's, that's a, Maybe a, a knowledge, knowledge database for uh, where uh, thematic networks can store their results. And we are in contact with the EU farm book. So we for sure look at the opportunities to do so. Uh, at this moment, at least to my knowledge, it's not possible to uh, to to store our uh, results over there. But there will also be a follow-up uh, because I think uh, Farm Book was produced by Eureka. Eureka will end, but will have a follow-up project. So we for sure are looking at opportunities to integrate the Best for Soil legacy to this EU Farm Book. Um, but I don't know for sure. I don't think they offer the opportunity to host tools like the databases. So that is still, I think, the remaining question. But like the videos and the fact sheet, etc., for sure can be stored on the EU farm book. And as soon as we get the invitation to share, we will do this. Thank you very much. Um, the next question is, is there a Slack community? Yeah, then my question is, what is a Slack community? Because I'm not familiar with this uh, with this term, this word. Actually, Slack community, um, I also I'm not too familiar with it, but I, I, I think what I know is, is like a community where people meet up like online on this on it's like a home page format, what I know, but um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Like uh, I just know that Slack is often used like within um, meetings or conferences. Um, yeah, but maybe it's a permanent thing. I just know it from a very spontaneous thing. So maybe there, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, at this moment, there is uh, no best for soil Slack community. Mm -hmm. It could be that the farm EU farm book offers this functionality, but I don't know. Uh, like, it's uh, not, uh, we don't have it now in uh, best for soil, at least. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like um, the, the question towered in this direction, if you have like this kind of a kind of social network or something maybe implemented likewise uh, where you can stay connected or like a platform where you can like stay connected connected in a digital way mm -hmm. mm. yeah we can uh, for sure look what um, slack community can offer for our legacy that's um, mm. but um, i know too uh, little about it to give a correct answer yeah <laughs> this moment um yes maybe there is there any other question otherwise are I'd there any suggestions or um reactions on our initiative to start the, the sponsorship um, 
would that be of interest to one of the people listening to this session? Um, could it be successful or do you have other ideas? We would be very happy to receive your uh, reactions on this. Okay. Any, any policy people in the, in the audience that um, um, could give a reaction on, uh, on this suggestion perhaps? Because you can, of course, as we have 20 languages, 22 languages in the databases, you also could think of uh, a sponsor for, uh, for a certain country, for a certain language, and that could also add to the, the money we need to keep the system and, and, and to um, improve the system in the coming years. So we are open for all kinds of uh, suggestions. So um, we will share uh, the presentations after the conference and our email addresses are on the slide. So you can always uh, find us if you have an interest or Perfect. want to give us suggestions or ideas. Sounds good. Sounds promising. Thank you very much, Ham. Okay. Thank you.